On this episode of Figure Fix Friday, we're gonna turn this into this. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DStar01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffulis, and I brought a guest with me. Hi. Yes, this is her first episode a on Figure, Figure Fix Friday. Friday. Yes, no, no, hun, we're not using tweezers today. I don't get to use no, the no, we're no, we're we're not doing, we're not using any pointy <laughs> objects. So what are we gonna do today? Let's talk about this. So when I first opened the Marvel Legends um, Spider-Man Far From Home action figure, I said, this looks cheap. This looks, I'm incomplete. sorry. Yes, it looks very incomplete. So I said to myself, what can I do to make this absolutely awesome? And I turned it into this. Now, a lot of you have been wondering, how do you do this? Is this difficult? No, absolutely not. I'm just going to tell you right now the secret to make awesome. No, not the stand. The secret to make your figures awesome is Mr. Hobby Top Coat, and this is a flat matte spray paint. And I got this Pigma Micron 005. This is a very small tip. Let's zoom into that tip. Oh, it's so tiny. So small. So small. <laughs> and it'll get into all the crevices of this Spider-Man so you can get make him look awesome. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter, Janelle. Come on. Let's... <laughs> Into every okay, hey, 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 I'm, I'm done here. I'm done. Figure Fix Friday is cancel culture right now. Hashtag cancel Figure Fix Friday. Because all of y'all have dirty minds. I said nothing. Okay. I said nothing. So first off, I just wanted to look at this Spider-Man right here. Uh, and before we do that, where can you get this Spider-Man, hun? At dstartoys.com. That's right, you get any Marvel Legends, well, most Marvel Legends new stuff, most of them, at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. So, only if you're fast enough, though. Only if you're fast enough, fast. right, right. When it comes to Marvel gotta Legends, you gotta be fast. Mm. When it comes to Marvel Legends, uh, these usually sell decently fast. So, enough of that. Let's look at these two and let's compare. So... I'm just going to break it down for you. As you can see right here, the matte finish on the Marvel Legends gives it that SH figure arts look. Mm -hmm. It looks so nice. It makes like his, uh, I, I guess, the muscles really pop. And I really love how this looks. And it's such a simple mod. And if you look at this one, super glossy, super incomplete. Uh, when you get this figure, you'll be like, what, what's going on here? This looks nothing like the movie version. So we're going to fix that right now. So... With this one, what we're going to do, Janelle, get your mask on. And we're going to give this guy a quick spray. I got my mask here. We're going to put this on. going to get smelly in it's here. It's going to get smelly. It has a formaldehyde smell. We're just going to jump, jumping right into it, okay? We're just going to spray this guy some, just a little right there. I'm going to turn him around, right? So, okay. We can make sure he stands. Ah, if and you he do fell. This at home, you should be in a well-ventilated area. Yes, right? yes, yes. Definitely, Preferably definitely so. With okay. A, a parent supervision. Holy yes, cow, yes. Smells. It really does stink. And we we sprayed him a good amount. And okay, let's turn him around. Do we have sure. to get under his pits? No, we got this. We got this. And we're gonna spray. <laughs> okay, so we sprayed him. You're like, okay, what do I do now? We're gonna wait a solid 15 minutes and let this paint dry. It's very fat. Wow, that really does smell. <laughs> I'm beginning to think I should have worn some protective goggles. Okay, so don't worry about that. We're just gonna wait 15 minutes. We're gonna let this guy dry, and you're gonna see just how fast you're gonna turn this glossy, plastic, cheap Spider-Man into something that looks something like this. So we'll be right back in 15 minutes. Bye. Say goodbye to them. Au revoir for now. For now. <laughs> a few moments late. Okay, everyone, and we're back. This is about 15 minutes. This paint has already dried, and as you can see, he doesn't look as cheap. Uh, we're getting one step closer to making your Spider-Man look awesome. So what do we do next? So we take the Micron Pigma pen. By the way, all the stuff that I use today will be down in the description down below, so you can get it there. Total cost will be around 10 bucks, so you can get your Spider-Man looking awesome for 10 bucks. In fact, you could probably get 
most of your action figures that look cheap and plasticky to look really good just by spraying this and giving it a little bit of love with the marker. So let's look real close. This is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do this all. I'm just going to do tell you how this is done. Now, this marker right here is perfect for these lines because it's so small, it fits right there. Look how easy that is. Look how easy that is. Right, hon? Mm -hmm. Think this is easy? You think this is hard? You think this you is need... something that even I can do. <laughs> exactly. This is so easy. I'm already starting to make this Spider-Man look awesome just by doing this. So you want to get into all the lines, all the little crevices. Uh, one question that someone asked me when he saw the picture on Instagram and on my YouTube, can I use a Sharpie? No, do not use a Sharpie. But you're like, well, why not? Because a Sharpie isn't truly um, black like this. They actually have some pigments of purple. So when they dry out, what will happen is it won't look as good. You'll get this purple hue and it doesn't look good at all. So when you get like a Gundam pen or this Pigma pen right here, what happens is it just looks absolutely great because it is a true color of black right there. Just look at that. That's starting to look absolutely amazing. Wow. Wow, right? Okay, so we're just going to do that. And we've got most of the chest there. See, look how easy this is. It's already starting to look absolutely amazing. So let's just keep going. Uh, I'm just going to do the chest part. Also, you want you don't want to forget to pull back the this part so you can expose this, the mid midsection, so you can get some marker going on right there. Um, also, when you put on the top coat, it kind of acts as a primer, and it makes painting it so much easier, or using this marker so much easier. It sticks better, too. I think you can feel it's kind of like textured as you go along the lines of Spider-Man's suit here because you have that top coat on there already. Originally when I did that last Spider-Man, um, I didn't have the top coat on and I was like, uh, doesn't look that good. And then I put the top coat on and I went over it again. I was like, wow, I should have done this first. So that's why I'm warning you guys. So here's another thing that I have to tell you. You're like, oh, no, I messed up, right? Don't worry. You can just kind of remove it with your, with, your, with, your, uh, with your thumb here. And as you can see, when you do that, it kind of gives it that more worn-out look, which is exactly what you want. Um, so don't worry about messing up. Just take your thumb uh, and just use some of your bodily grease <laughs> to smear it up. Mm -hmm. You know, Janelle doesn't really like that idea. So, um, yeah, you could do that. Um, another thing that I would recommend is you might want to go through this twice. So this process could take about 30 minutes. But, you know, if you want your Spider-Man to look cool, you got to take... It's better to take your time. Yeah, take your time. Don't be all, like, rushing and go... Ah, ah, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take your time. Show your Peter Parker some love. Right? Look at that, it looks so cool already. All right. So um, I guess we're gonna fast forward this. Well, hold on, let me just finish Are this. Are you doing the whole thing? Yeah, I am gonna do the whole thing. I but you I, said at the beginning of this part you weren't gonna do the whole okay, thing. Okay, I'm just gonna do the front, okay? And then I will finish it off. And then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do there. Oh, well, you know what, let's, let's just do one boot. You're just enjoying this. Oh, much. I love it. I love this. Oh, this is gosh. like, you know, action figure customizations. This is like the easiest thing. Like, I love it when people on Instagram are, are all like, oh, man, look at this super cool customization. And everyone's like, how do you do it? And he's like, it's a secret. Well, here you go. I just told you their secret. Trade secret special has been spoiled. Pens. Yes, yeah, special <laughs> pens, special paint. You're good to go. All right, so I'm going to finish this up off camera, and uh, I'm going to tell you the next step. So everyone, please stand by, okay? All right, see you in a bit. Soon after. All right, everybody, and we're back. Can you tell the difference, hon? They look like twinsies. Yeah, they look like twins. Uh, they're almost alike. Yeah. But the difference is this one, 
is the one we just did. Uh, Janelle started off and I finished this off and it looks really good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Really clean. Uh, the lines on the, the one I did before are darker because I went through it a second time. Uh, when I say a second time, I went over it with another with this marker. Again, this marker is brilliant. It's fantastic. It gets in those lines really well. Um, I can go it a second time after you put a second coat of top coat. So that's what exactly what we're going to do now. We got our mask on, right? Yes. Okay, we got that. We're just going to give it one more coat. Next time we're doing this outside. Yeah, we're doing this outside next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just doing one last coat. Okay, what? What? <laughs> I'm a bad husband. I'm sorry. I love you very much. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm I sitting do. here. I do. All right, we're going to get lit this guy. Okay, you're all like, oh, no, he's looking glossy again. Don't worry. Top coat is going to give him a nice matte finish, and it's going to make those black lines pop. Just wait and see. Again. I'm going to have another break. Last one, I promise. Okay, I promise. Here. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be back. 346 minutes later. Okay. We are finally back. And let's look at the difference here. Well, this is the completed product of the second Spider-Man figure. Uh, hun, which one do you like better? Do you like it with the super dark lines or do you like it with it's just one coat of, uh, of the black on like the line. I like the super dark lines. I like the super dark lines? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So it's in order to get bold. this, to get the final product to look like this, mm -hmm. you have to go over it with a pen a second time after the second coat of top coat. Now, if you're looking for a more subtle black lines, you can just do it once and you can call it a day. This looks really cool as is, I'd have to say. They both look um, good. Yeah, they both look really good and they add extra value to your Marvel Legends Spider-Man from uh, Far From Home. So I think this is pretty good. Let's go over the process one more time so you get your brand new Spider-Man figure. That's step one, obviously. <laughs> step two, you wanna spray it with top coat. Uh, again, this is in the description down below where you can get this. You spray it down, leave it for 15 minutes. When it's dry, you take your Pigma Micron 005 or your Gundam pen. Do not use a Sharpie. Go over the lines, right? Then, step four, three? I lost count of Okay, you now. know what? Screw it. <laughs> and then the next step, we it's take so the top. There's gas in here. <laughs> I didn't think so. I'm sorry. We're, we're not doing this indoors again. Obviously, we have a fan going on in the background, so it is getting rid of the smell really quick, but oh not quick God. enough. So then you take this. All right, let's start this over. Number one, get your Spider-Man figure. Number two, spray it with top coat. Number three, fill in the lines with your pen. Number four, again with the top coat. And number five, you can go over it with a pen so you can make it look like this, or you could skip that step overall and Don't just so you can make it look like if this. You want this one. All right, always remember after your first spray, <laughs> let let it dry for 15 minutes. So you can make sure that this will stick. So that's pretty much it. You got your awesome Spider-Mans here. I will be selling this one. Where, hun? DStarToys.com. That's right. We're, I am going to sell this one at DStarToys.com so you can get your very own. You don't even have to do what I just did right here. You don't need the pen. You don't need the top coat. You can just go to www.DStarToys.com. You're allowed to source your awesome action figures. And you can pick this uh, guy up. For this one this exact one on our website. So there you guys go. You can make your Spider-Man look awesome. Honestly, why didn't Hasbro just do this? Why, hun? <laughs> hun, you were gonna say something. Oh, so I was gonna say, this is a great opportunity for you to be able to take advantage of customizing your own action figure. Right, but so. I, I always thought that Hasbro should be like doing this anyway. This is a step that they totally missed and they've been doing really well on all their Marvel Legends lately. I and like then, to think of this as like the coloring book of action figures. True, but but it shouldn't. I guess that's I guess that's true. This is some your chance. Some people sit on their couch and do coloring books, and some people sit on the couch and color in their Spider-Man. I, I guess so. That's exactly what I, I did for the last two days. I honestly think that that's days. a great niche market right there. Maybe we should start making some color me in action figures. Maybe we'll see. But so far, I'm just really <laughs> angry. 
I'm honestly angry at Marvel Legend or Hasbro for not doing this to a really good Spider-Man figure. I mean, when I first got it when I, in, in the unboxing, I was like, what is this? This is not cool. And, you know, you have to do this. But I guess, you know, this was really fun. Did you yeah, enjoy doing it? It was fun. Yeah, this it was relaxing. really fun. Yeah. This is like some, uh, some really relaxing time. And you could just paint it in. And it's really fun to do. And I don't know. Yeah, and for people it's, like yeah. me who are not artistically inclined, if you can smear it up and you can't tell that you made an oopsies. It's... Yeah, it looks really cool. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know we, we made this video a little bit too long, but that's what Figure Fix Friday is for. We're just here. We're fixing <laughs> figures. We're rambling. <laughs> and we're there to help you make your action figure look absolutely cool. Or if you have a broken one, we can fix that up with all these videos on Figure Fix Friday. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And now you can go to Warehunt for awesome action figures. Toys That's right, you go to www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace!